Hey guys, who put here and today? <clears throat> well, I got a little interesting video for you. Of course, you can see by the title, we're gonna be playing Finance of Candies in Minecraft Edition. Um, I found a way to add that to instead of it being one of those hand things like from the beta tests. Apparently no one has been really beta testing them lately that I've had for like beta testers. I've been looking around. I'll keep looking for more beta testers, but I guess I'll just beta test myself. <laughs> But, um, we're not gonna use the beta. We're actually gonna use the latest version that I'm creating right now. And that will be released to you guys soon. Um, uh, why is that? Is because I've added more decorations. And I've also added a fan that's actually animated. And all this other good stuff. So, this is why I'm going to be playing the latest update. That's not even released yet. But, um, instead of the, de the beta one where they had to test it. But this one's the brand new one. Of course, uh, it's been like a few days since I've edited it, but yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna hop right into it. Oh, <laughs> I forgot the resource pack. <laughs> All right, let me just pop that on real quick. Yeah, I use the less irate pack for um a uh, server velocity that I usually plan all the time. Yeah, I love that server. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I was quiet for a minute there, I apologize. I was leaning back on my chair, I was just <laughs> relaxing for a minute. Got my last few relaxation moments before I go to hell on this game. I, I know it's a 30 FPS and a 40 and it climbs here and there, but we're trying to stick with 60, but apparently this is a laggy game, so I can't really record that well. But I will show you a few things before I start off. Um. Like I was talking about the animated fan. It's a bit glitchy because I'm recording, but it's actually animated. Block by block. There we go. It goes brown carpet. And then it goes a blue carpet, I believe. No. Lime carpet. Blue. No. Purple. Blue. God, I don't remember the pattern. It's... But yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's just clear my inventory. Of course, I'm going back to the default skin and all that stuff. Oh, I almost forgot to get rid of uh, um, my subtitles. Um, so yeah, this is the desk and stuff. There's the newspaper. Um, of course, this is all randomly generated text on the side. So you can see that there's no one clearly English on that. Um, there's the clock. This is actually your counter timer. Instead of being on the display or the display on your right corner, it's actually right here. So if you're standing over here, I bet you're gonna be like, I can't see it. You just move over to the left a little bit. You can move around anywhere in the room. There's no barriers, except the doors. You can't go through the doors like this one. You can, but it's just I broke the barrier for it. Of course you can't go through this one, this one, you know, barriers there. Um, but yeah, let's show you around real quick. Of course, it's the front. Um, yeah, let's see here. Let's give ourselves some night vision. Of course, like I said, I added posters. They're actually armor stands, so yeah. The thing is that they're um, the items themselves are double plants. Uh, as if I can find them, uh, right here. A uh, little like sunflower. I know they're hard to see and they're invisible, but if you hover over it, it's right there. It's just it's not showing because it's uh, you know, I I used a program to make models and stuff. The poster you saw in the trailer. Um, there's another poster I added to, it's Chester. Um, Chester's right here, he's actually a 3D model. Thank you so much to my friend, uh, that has modeled these for me. He was the guy who modeled the plushies, but that was for when it would never was released. Um, let me see what his name was again. I actually legit forgot, and I apologize for that. Uh, give me a moment to think. Actually, let me look it up on Skype. I ate on Yobro, yeah. There we go. I was about to say, it starts with an A, and then I'm like, it just popped in my head when I looked at it, too. Ate on Yobro made the head. But I made the arms. I bet you're wondering, what kind of arms are these? How did you get a model on armor? Well, actually, these this, the arms are separate from the armor. The armor is actually invisible. You can only have the body chest plate as if it was actual leather armor. <laughs> um, but, 
instead of it giving arms, this is what the arms are now. They are string, I think, for this guy. Let me check. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but once you hold it, it'll actually be a 3D model. And it is player size, as you can see. So it looks a little bit better than those 4x4 four four pixels arms, you know, the bigger ones. Like this one, for example. But yeah, here's the puppet. I can't really see him that well because he's in between a wall. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Blood Cotton. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I'll warn you in the earlier part of the video. This is the cutscene part two. Of course, I haven't got to get rid of the cutscene part. Man, did I program the part where um once the uh, the cutscene activates, he'll get the iron blocks out of there? Hang on. Let me see, let me see. Uh, cutscene, 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 cutscene. All the way down here. Okay, I think that's when the chainsaw starts right here. Or the machine, I should say. Uh, wait, stone floor. Yeah, okay, it does. That's good. But yeah, the beta test, it's gonna show the body parts. I forgot to patch that, I believe. Wait, doesn't it end? What are you patching? Hang on. Whatever, I'll just fill it in with iron blocks. That was its original uh, slash default. And of course, you can see the body parts again under it. That's for when it clones. It's a clone command. I can I clone them up here instead so that they're not everywhere else. Alright, so that was down here. Let me patch this up real quick. Stone. I know this is going to be kind of a long video, and I apologize. This will be separated into two different parts. This one's just only to, to show you the place as proof. So, you know, for the forum, the you know, it's a rule, I guess. No picks, no clicks. No click, click, no pickles. No pickles. <laughs> yeah, no pickles. All right, um, this room hasn't been decorated yet. I had a sign here. I guess I removed it when I was putting up these uh, the antisite. Children murdered. Oh, uh, murdered in robot factory. There we go. I could. I should have put news on top of it. Whatever. And here, this isn't really anything special. It's just a little room I made. I was bored. The dark side. Um, this is actually. I. I was inspired a little bit by Fanti for this one for the dark uh, area, the, the dark side, pretty much where Golden Freddy and all that stuff goes to, and Fanti herself. It's me, uh, and then it says it's a, a mistake, I thought I said it's mistake or something, a mistake, and then you fell asleep, it's your fault. Alright, so let's just forget about that room, and I'm kind of lagging when I turn my head. I think it's because we're loading different chunks, uh, but whatever. So over, oh my god, it's getting really annoying if I start running. You can see this, can you not see that? What the hell? What the hell? I don't know what's going on, guys. I apologize for that. Maybe it's just my screen, but maybe you don't see it? I don't know. So, men's room. Nothing really special. It's just sinks, toilet. You can open it, you know, and then as soon as you're done, you just close that. Same thing with women's. Boom. Flash, wash, whatever. Close the door. Alright, let's go explore elsewhere over here. Now, we got a table over here. I bet you're wondering, what the hell is this? It's birch fence, but it's white, and it's invisible. Um, I got rid of the birch texture for a reason. Um, I had to make it translucent, ah, shit, transparent for, um, one of the things. I forgot one of the blocks it was, but I had to do it for a block. It might be in here. I think it was because of possibly one of the camera stands or something. I don't know. Something. Alright, there's barriers everywhere. That's where the cameras are. I could remove them, but nah. Um, of course, I already showed your Chester stage. Uh, let's go over here where the main attraction is. I know people have been complaining that... Well, not many people, but some have been complaining that I have these two characters in the wrong place. I have a good reason, and it is an accident indeed. What happened was, um, without the resource pack, he would be diamond and she would be gold. But then I was like, no, I don't want to always have 
the main character as the diamond. You know, like Foxy was a great character, like one of the biggest characters. So I was like, you know what? I'll just swap a -roo. Swap the armor, but what I didn't swap was uh, I swap I did not swap the textures. So I had this one as diamond and a Cindy texture, gold with a um, candy texture. Sorry, I was like about to say gold texture. <laughs> And, um, I wasn't thinking, because I pretty much, after I textured these things for, like, two or three hours, or more, way bef like, the day or two before I had to go visit SUNY Canton College for their opening ceremony thing, um, I completely forgot that I swapped the armor stand, so that means she's in the wrong spot, and so is he. So, that's the good reason why I accidentally swapped them. I would love to swap them now, but if I were to swap the armor itself, it would screw everything up. Not just that, but if I were to teleport them to the right and left, like to swap them, I, it, I'd have to fix every command. Not every, but just like many commands uh, to properly fix it, because I don't know where other ones are to reset the character, because apparently some of them, like some of the jump scares at the end of them, swap the character back, and sometimes they don't. So that's the thing. Alright, the penguin. I keep thinking it's like the shortest arms in the world, but they're flippers. Uh, I modeled them myself. Uh, I also, I think my friend modeled the head. I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe it was me. I think it would have been me that modeled the head. But of course, I fucked up the model. This was my first block model. And apparently, I thought south was north and north was south. No, I'm not stupid, but it's just the program. Like, I thought south was going to face this way, like, and the head would be like this. Perfectly fine. Heading straight. But... Apparently I put the stuff on the wrong side, so technically it would be backwards, so it's, it has to be 180 degrees rotated every time, and just added and removed, you know? And uh, we got Blank over here, which has drawings all over him. Uh, yeah, some stars, the smiley faces, the squiggles to a nuke town symbol, and some eyebrows and a nose and a foxy face. Um, I believe he has Scar on the top of his head, too, right here, like the stitches. Um, he doesn't have the back head part yet, where it's, like, you know, bashed up. I haven't done that part yet, apparently. Um, I, you know, I completely forgot about Blank being completely demolished and stuff, so I apologize for that. So here's the drawings. I did them myself, of course, with my shitty handwriting. I managed to make these things perfectly fine. So, yeah... This is all done by a mouse. Um, it took a while to do all six of these. But yeah, it was kind of fun. Um, and I got to use my shittastic shit skills of drawing, because I suck at drawing, um, onto here. And now I perfectly nailed it, and it is perfect. So yeah, I watched the trailer, I watched everything to look for perfect clear photos of these things so I can make them on paint. Or, should I say, Photoshop. And, yeah. So, we got the Markiplier one. Which, he has the mustache. The pink mustache. Or, purplish pink. Magenta. Um, we also got Cindy over here. I thought, at first, this was supposed to be Funtime Foxy. But, uh, apparently not. It, I mean, like, sh the person who made this, of course, Emma Mako. Or, should I say, the kid. Um, never filled in the colors, so I had to just outline it with pink, which is what the character, the child did. Alright, so there's another one. Uh, this is a happy birthday one. This is where Candy's pretty much saying happy birthday, I believe, to the kid, and he's happy. He has a party hat on. Party hat on. I don't know if Candy had one on. I think I might have forgot that part, but I have no clue. Um, but yeah. And then we also got this one, which... This is kind of funny though, like, um, this one's the candy one, he's dancing or something, same with the kid. But, from a distance, it like, kind of looks like on the real trailer, that it looked like a PvP moment or something like that, trying, him, uh, candy trying to kick his ass. <laughs> I thought it was funny as hell, but yeah. Apparently, I was completely wrong, of course. <laughs> um, and, yeah, it looked like it for a minute, but it's actually them dancing. But it just looked like from a distance that it looked like he was turned around and yeah I don't know <laughs> uh, we got another one over here this is the burgers of course burgers felt wrong because it's drawn by a kid 
not by an 18 year old or should I say 17 year old me which it was done by me but not written from the original it was and also I remember Emil Mako on his channel for the trailer um, one of the guys commented he spelt burgers wrong and he or she I think it's a he said that it was on purpose because it's a kid's drawing and kids don't usually English that well or spell correctly all the time now the last one is pretty quite simple and not complex at all the tree the only complex part about it was uh, uh, trying to get that leaf thing right there and like getting them colored and stuff and getting them perfectly lined up especially where it splits between oak and the leaves then we got the branch over here which doesn't look really much of a branch it looks kind of funny but yeah and then the hill and the tree of course these are the same drawings but in different orders they went from burgers to fries to trees so my name is Markiplier happy birthday happy birthday again and of course uh, Cindy I almost wanted to say Maggle for a minute also um, I uh, 3D modeled some crayons they are actually just a flower pot but with azure bluette it's basically a flower but it's modeled in the uh, only in a flower pot so if we were to grab some pot soul or something see it'd be t totally fine it's not even modeled but if we were to go to decorations, and we scroll all the way down to right here, which it should be 3D modeled, as uh, by the way, and you place that down, you got some crayons. So, yeah, that's Blank's area. Don't know why it's doing that. Whatever, I think uh, it's just fine, it's fine. And then got the tables. Uh, we got the middle of the door too. I'm gonna start showing you guys. Oh god, it's doing it again. I'm gonna show you guys the interior, of course, where you're gonna be a little bit more in detail. Um, I f think I might have mentioned the Candy and Cindy poster. This was the first poster I added, and of course, it's being held by an armor stand again. Um, we got the PC. This was actually modeled by me too. Um, we got the newspaper, which was modeled by me. I also made the texture too and I had to align them and stuff uh, we also have the clock um, the clock isn't like it is 3d modeled but it's not separate but the face of it is separate if I were to place this on here which is um, a red carpet which gives the illuminated 12 a.m. that's how that works and there's also other carpets if we were to go to carpet Let's say light blue. Let's go look at that one, shall we? That one's 3 a.m. It goes all the way from 12 to 5. There's no 6 a.m. There is, but that's not on the clock. There's no clock model for it. There's no need for it. Because they're technically shifting into the 6 a.m. phase thing anyways. Alright, so there's a redstone lamp right here. A.K.A. redstone torch. I don't know why I said redstone lamp, but it's just a lamp in general powered by redstone torch. And it also gives off the the beautiful lighting we need in our office if we get rid of our night vision and if we plug this hole as you can see redstone torches emit light but it's only like about a few blocks like five or six or possibly ten but it's not as bright as a redstone uh, not a redstone as an actual torch um yeah the torch is a hell of a lot brighter but the redstone lamp is not that bright but it is great to have some illuminated lights in here. So now we're going to show you a little bit of the features now since we've shown you in depth of how it works. So we're going to look at the doors first. Um, of course, you open and close them. You right click that button. And of course, the power usage will pop on. Of course, it says one and then goes to zero. You're supposed to have one as like an unstoppable one, which is the lamp power. But of course, I ended the game. So it has zero power usage right now. That's for if he ran out of power. But yeah, um, so if we close that door, that will pop up. And this is caution on that door. And it will start to remove percentage, percentages. But of course, when you open it, you can't go through it. Um, we also got the right door. Same exact thing. If you were to close both doors, of course, they would add up more and more power usage. Um, 
to be honest, I think it's just Minecraft right now that's lagging, and that's why the doors and stuff are closing improperly, slash laggily, um, because I'm recording and stuff, so I'm, I'll try to do a video of this, but it's gonna be laggy. Alright, so the middle door is not in use just yet, but it still does work and function as a normal door, but until night three strolls along, which is not time for it yet, then... Of course, the, the door will be a main hit, the thing that you need to do. Alright, so of course you got a chair behind you, and a barrier so you can't accidentally climb on there or something if you're trying to get straight down right here so you can activate the camera. Now, where's the button? Oh, that's right, there is no button this time. Wanna know why? How to activate the camera is really nice. You look down at it, and it'll open up. And of course it was a bit laggy because, you know, like I was explaining earlier. And of course you can see... Uh, why am I... Oh, whatever. Um, I was not at camera one. Why is that giving me the camera one thing? That was a glitch. Of course I'll fix that. Of course you can always go around to different cameras. And of course in your left hand, which is your free hand, um, right here on your offset and will be the times not times it will be the map of course you can hit F but I wouldn't really recommend it because it's gonna be on your right and your display thing is gonna be in the way but yeah very useful very helpful and yeah too bad it's not clickable like the um the the thing you get in your hand uh, let's just hit this and get F this is not clickable, unfortunately. Um, I my friend did recommend trying to do that, but I tried it, and it's not like you can center text clickable areas perfectly well on a PNG image or something, you know. So that's unfortunate. Oh, and another feature, as you can see up above, there's a speaker. Um, that is where you can play your night calls that you have. For example, let's just play Mall. Uh, hello? You, um, do know that you don't have to be here today, right? Well, I guess you're just very committed to the job then. Uh, anyway, uh, you've done a great job this week, so now please take a break tomorrow, okay? Now, see you next week. Good night. And that's how it works, and then as soon as you right click, Music disc will pop out up top, but of course it didn't disappear because Night 6 obviously is not programmed, and that was the Night 6 call. So that would have got rid of it on a dime, but of course you can't really test for record, like every record at one command, because it's not like a spawn egg where you have NBT tags. It's actually each and every disc is one of its own block or item just like a sword like or something like that like a diamond sword and then a stone sword you know you can't just give yourself sword and then put one for the stat and you can get like a stone sword instead of a wooden sword or something you know or dies here's a great example dies if you were to give yourself a die and you have like the integer is like three you get cocoa beans you can't really do that on um, music discs they all have their own separate tag like for example right here c418 melohi that to give yourself it is record underscore melohi so they're all different and separate uh, items in general so yeah um, we're just gonna take a look around the map real quick to show you the out the exterior and all of their commands I'm not gonna show every single one of course but I'm gonna explain to you guys what each and everything does so um over here is the AIs, pretty much a little bit, of the characters. Um, so basically, this, um, these two commands over here are from and to, which is the statics. I think it's the play sound. Yeah, it's the play sound movement, which gives you the static sound of when, they, when the cameras interfere. And then there's more command blocks over here for old to new, which is the cameras, and they literally glitch with static just like that one but it's not glass it's actually oh no, sorry, it's not glowstone like from the past it's actually a white stained glass 
But of course, a white stained glass gives off an emit of light after a time due to it being some kind of Minecraft glitch that they've never patched since 1.7 came out. And yeah, if you guys remember from Slendy Tubby's Minecraft Edition all the way back in 1.7 and those things were barriers, well, let me tell ya, did those mountains ever fucking glow? <laughs> oh man. Alright, so, and then over here is the new things too, like the delays of them being replaced from barrier to stained glass again. You know, from stained glass to barrier, all that stuff. That's why there's barriers in here, is just so that, um, like, if there's ever a movement, that the barriers will show up and it'll interfere and you can't see anything through the cameras for a short period of time. Not even a second, though. It takes, like, half a second or something. And, of course, all the movements of the characters. The AI is over here, as you can see. Um, by Silverfish, what they do, they spawn here. They parkour their way over here. Sometimes they go through here, but they can't go through there. Sometimes they go back, or they go all the way at once, and then as soon as they try to get to that stone, they'll hit the pressure plate, and then they'll teleport them over here again. Or actually, I think it'll kill them, or teleport them to the nether, or, you know, negative 1000 or something, and then spawn a new one. Because I think um, if you reuse the same one, it's just going to die out on its AI, and it's not going to move anymore. I've had that happen on Final Fantasy Freddy's 1 into but yeah um so it will completely make a brand new silverfish from scratch to replace it with its old counterpart just in case the counterpart gets tired out due to its programming notch um but yeah over here i don't know what this is timer i don't know what that one is i can't remember Timer. The hell is timer? Hang on, let me look. I don't know what timer is, so we're gonna. Oops. Cancel that. Slash TV. Oh! I know what it is. It, it's so that you can constantly teleport to that area once you're once you're on the camera. Because my friends, when they were beta testing this without recording, I believe were like complaining that you can move around while you're in the camera because I haven't programmed that yet but I did patch that good thing alright so this is becoming a long video this is the AI for the silverfish when the power goes out it goes through here I'm gonna patch this part too because I had to I was actually building this I was extending it but I, I shortened it up um let's see here some other AIs and stuff are down here for like timers and stuff. Oh, one thing I never got to really show you guys, but I'll show you a little bit more when we, when we actually play the game. As soon as you hop in here, you can hear the music already. There's a test board waiting for you to hop in this room. But yeah. Um, it's made by me. Uh, of course, I'm giving credit to Emil Mako and Scott Compton for their work for the characters and sounds and all that stuff, you know. And of course this is just a beta, it's only one and two. I still haven't got the full release ready and up and running yet, but yeah, I'm excited. Also, this thing glitches his head too. But it's probably gonna be a bit laggy due to uh, me recording this. Yeah, like I said, it suddenly stopped glitching for some reason. Because I'm recording. But yeah, um thank you guys so much for watching this uh long video i apologize that it was a very long video but i just it's great to see those uh fans that really want to see in depth and uh stuff about the map i apologize that it was long because i know it's not always a fun video to watch to like watch my map uh being displayed and stuff but this is for proof that i legit made this map and it is not fake and you know it's it's you know, it's just to show them that I legit made this. Not just that, but it's it's required, I believe, in order to upload it to the forum. But yeah, I really cannot wait for you guys to try this out when this full release comes out. Of course, it's going to come out first as a demo, and then someday down the road, a full version. But you never know. It could be quick, it could be short. 
I meant to say long. It's probably is gonna be long because I have night three to add, which I have to program blank. I gotta program the penguin. I also gotta program old candy. Um, I gotta program the rat. Unfortunately, it doesn't come out in night five, but I've seen him on night five. I was like, holy shit, what are you doing here? But it's such like it's like in five a.m. Mo moments. It's just like. No, it's not worth adding that. Adding a timer to do that. It's going to take forever. Um, but yeah. I'll be doing some redstone tutorials soon, too. I'm going to probably do one today. Um, like, as of, like, today, today. Ever after I record this video and finish it up for you guys. So, I really appreciate you guys if you, um, uh, yeah, subscribe, I guess. I was going to do my outro, but I just, like, screwed everything up. I apologize. <laughs> Um, yes, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, subscribe, leave a like, show this to your friends. Um, I might not have the, uh, link yet, but when I get it ready, I'll have the, um, link ready so you can see the post slash forum. And have a great day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!